Well, in just six weeks until Election Day, new polls show Vice President Harris with a lead in the head-to-head -head matchup against former President Trump. And the polls come just one day after the former president says he won't do another debate. NBC's Bree Jackson in Washington, D.C. And Bree, Harris is coming off of a big fundraising event. That's right. Good morning, Danita, Dave. So according to the Harris campaign, the vice president raised $27 million during a New York City fundraiser Sunday, and that is the biggest total since President Biden dropped out of the race. In the battle for the White House, Vice President Harris is challenging former President Trump to a rematch on the debate stage, something he's refusing to do. Let's have another debate. There's more to talk about, and the voters of America deserve uh, to hear. The problem with another debate is that it's just too late. Voting has already started. With early voting underway, new NBC figures show Harris gaining momentum among key demographics. She's holding a commanding lead among women. Although more men support former President Trump, it's by a much smaller gap. The Harris Walls campaign is setting its sights on winning over voters in key battleground states, including North Carolina, a state Mr. Trump won by a narrow margin in 2020. We've got offices all across that state. We are making volunteer shifts, uh, making calls, knocking doors uh, in that state. The former president will make his case during a rally in Pennsylvania today. Inflation and the economy remain top issues for many voters, with polls showing Mr. Trump holding an advantage over Harris. Supporters urge him to make that a key part of his message. Talk about crime, talk about the economy, talk about inflation, talk about border. That's the way you persuade people in this country. We have an obligation to persuade people to vote for us. Harris plans to counter that messaging by outlining her economic vision in a speech on Wednesday. And the latest NBC News poll found that the majority of Americans surveyed, 57 percent, said that the September 10th debate between Harris and Trump made no difference in their decision of who they uh, would likely support in November. Well, Bree, the former president did talk about the future this weekend. What can you tell us about his comments? So, Danita, in an interview with the show Full Measure, former President Trump says he will not run again in 2028 if he loses this election. All right, Bree Jackson reporting live for us this morning from Washington, D.C. Thank you.